Hello, my name is Scott Anderson. And I am the author of the Martin Software Development Environment, a software development environment which supports the visual programming language ProGraph. And in this video, I just hope to give everyone a taste of what visual programming is like. And I'm just going to move full speed ahead. Uh, the project I have in mind is a simple one, an application which will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, something everyone needs. So I'll start by creating a method that'll get the job done. This will contain our code. And as I promised, the code will be in the form of a diagram rather than a text file. I've created a case here to stick my operations in. I'm going to ask somebody what uh, temperature they want converted. So we'll just type that in there. What is the temperature Celsius? And we'll save it and we'll just run it, see what happens. Any code can be run at any time in Martin. Well, we got 100 out of there. One thing about the ProGraph programming language is while any code can be run at any time, you can also go backwards and forwards in program execution. I'm just going to go back and start this all over. In fact, I'm going to hold off and I'm going to start doing some converting here. I happen to know that 212 degrees subtract 32 is the change in Fahrenheit over 100 degrees Celsius. And so this will be a scale factor that will take a temperature in Celsius and give us the appropriate temperature in Fahrenheit. So if I multiply by that scale factor and show it, why we should have our conversion. The temperature Okay, let's go back to our running application here and just start stepping through it. We'll put in 100. We'll check it out. Yep, it's 100. 212 minus 32, 180 degrees Fahrenheit for every 100 degrees Celsius. That gives us a scale factor of 1.8. And if we divide that, well, we get 180. That's not the right answer, but we'll just proceed here. The reason we didn't get the right answer is because 0 degrees Celsius is not 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we're going to have to add in a 32 there to get it up to the appropriate temperature in Fahrenheit. So we'll just move some things around, and we'll take what we've scaled and add it to 32. And we fixed our program as it was running. So we'll just back up to that crucial point. Now we've got 212. You bet. Okay. Let's make it an application. I can run that application now. Temperature in Celsius. I happen to know that 30 degrees should be 86 degrees. Oh boy, right on the money. Well, let's send it to Grandma. We will update it. The chimes mean that it's been baked. And if we double click it, get it over here where we can see it. I also know that 20 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius should be about uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, this thing works like a charm. Converter. So that concludes a quick demonstration of the Visual Programming Language ProGraph. And we invite you to come to our website at andascotia.com to learn more about programming in ProGraph.